Sometimes when you are exporting your cards, you'll want to do so with bleed. You can think of bleed as a margin for error when you're cutting the cards out or when a printer, a commercial printer, is cutting your cards out. So let me show you what I mean. Here I've got a component. I've got nine cards in it. So if I go to print this component, you can see the nine cards are arranged like this. But if you can imagine that a printer um, is coming along and they have a tool which cuts for them. But if you can see here, even though this is exactly the size of one of these cards, if the printer is off by just the tiniest amount, it's actually going to go into the space of another one of your cards. Um, or if it's up just a little bit, it's going to be off and you'll see this white top edge there. If you can see this top edge, you'll see this white line. So what we want to do is we want to provide a margin for error so that even if the printer is out, if the cutting is out slightly, the card will still look good. And how we do that is with the margin for error, you can think of as bleed. So in page setup here, you can go to bleed and you can just dial it up and that's 0.5 of a mil of bleed. Now watch the border here really closely. You can see the border is just getting thicker. So most printers will do two or maybe three mils of bleed. If you do too much, you'll see it actually can't fit on the one page here. So um, yeah, just bear that in mind. If you're at home, you probably don't need three mils, but a commercial printer often will need three mils of bleed. And as you can see here, the border has gotten thicker. So if we go back and we imagine now that we're cutting it out as a printer, imagine the printer's off by a little bit. Well, it hasn't actually cut into my other card. Still might look a tiny bit strange, but it hasn't actually ruined my whole design, if that makes sense. So that's why bleed's really important. Now, let me just explain a bit of what's happening here. When you do dial up this bleed, it's essentially what Dextrous is doing here is if the background element has a border, it will try and extend that border. So because of this purple border is here in place on the layout, um, Dextrous will try and make that thicker, which is very helpful and generally what we want. But what happens if you don't have a background? Let's show you what that looks like. So if I go to this one and I try to export this pay, this card, set of cards here. So you can see here, there's a few different things going on, but we have this borderless, we've got this big image on the background. Now, if I hit bleed, you'll notice that there's some interesting things going on. If I hit bleed to three mils again, the background image has extended because Dextrous has said, oh, has realized, oh, you haven't got a border on this one. I'll just grab the background image and extend that and keep all this other stuff centered. So if we go back again and we imagine that the printer's printing this out, that's actually quite nice. I can be really quite off and the card will still look okay. But if you've been watching closely, you can see there's this blue thing down the bottom. Something's not quite right. I've got to adjust this layout if I want it to have bleed. I've got to actually design it with bleed in mind. So how would I go about fixing this? So if I go back to my project, here's the layout um, that I'm using. So I'm going to edit this layout and you'll be able to see what's going on. I'll just turn off the grid here. Now you can see here, um, I'm using these shapes, these kind of circle circle shapes here to get this effect that I want. Um, so you can see them there, but they don't necessarily sit correctly when the background element is made bigger. Down here, you can see bleed and safe area. And this is a preview. And this is really helpful because I want to actually see what it will look like when I've got my three mils of bleed. So that's now applied. The safe area is like, you think of the inner version of bleed. So it's like, say if the, if the cut is really bad, um, this is what might get cut off on the inside. So let's say if it was literally out by three millimeters. So if I go back to my simulation here. Um, so this should be the card there. That's what should get cut. But if it's out by three mils, let's say it was out by three mils this way and out by three mils this way, it would look like that. So why the safe area is helpful is it shows you what could go wrong. Like it could actually cut off some stuff here. So I need to redesign this card 
um, with that in mind. So what I can do is I can just grab this zone, for example, um, and I can make it go down further. And now I'm actually filling that bleed area, which is all I really need. The other thing to consider here is that my text might get cut off a tiny bit. So I might actually need to think about moving it up a little bit there just so that if if the cut is really terrible, um, that none of my important elements get cut off. Um, it would be pretty unusual for the cut to be really that bad, but you might as well be safe rather than sorry. Or you can just risk it. Um, so basically that's what the bleed does. So now that I've designed this cut, I filled that bleed space this in this in using this preview in the layout. I can save this. And now when I go to export this, whoop, where am I? Yes. And turn on bleed. What I should find is that those elements are overlapping properly and this should be good to go. So that's what bleed is and that's what you need to do to adjust your layouts to be bleed ready.